Well, the issue with the incinerator is more of a, you have two, two concerns. You have a moral issue and a health issue, of course, uh, by those who are impacted by the uh, emissions that are coming from uh, the incinerator. But then you also have a legal issue, uh, given that we are uh, contracted uh, for another uh, 20 years. Um, that's what, that's the tie that binds our hands, unfortunately. Uh, I think what we need to do on a go-forward basis is uh, to apply a little bit more due diligence in our contracting um, so that we're not in a situation where we have to choose between the economics of a situation and the well-being of our citizens. Um, so that, you know, it has its limitations on in terms of what the city can actually do at this time uh, as it relates to the contract that's in place uh, with Gidra and, and the, this, the Detroit incinerator. We definitely need to employ a land bank whereby, you know, you have a, a mass amount of vacant land here in the city of Detroit. Um, the first thing that you want to be able to do is to identify developers who can come in and uh, develop a research technology park, um, turn some of that land into green space, we can use it as uh, an area for housing development, uh, basically creating a community, a livable community, with some of the vacant lands uh, that we currently have. Uh, it's important, as you all know, that property taxes are um, the key revenue generating source for a city, uh, a municipal government. And so by putting those uh, lands back onto uh, the tax rolls will be able to increase our tax base, um, start to re-energize or re-invigorate uh, our economy, and therefore uh, move our city out of this financial deficit that we're currently in. Number one, I think the best thing that I could do is make sure that I carry myself and, and, and serve with both integrity and accountability. Uh, and to, if I, I see something, that's not proper or correct, that I bring it to the attention of the person who, who's in violation, if you will, of that. But I think as it relates to um, the ethics department uh, and ethics within city government, that's another area within the charter that can be uh, reinforced in terms of if you have an elected official who has violated the public trust, that they're dealt with accordingly, uh, that they're not, they, they're not given an opportunity to to serve, that they're immediately asked to step down so that we as a city cannot be hampered uh, by that or distracted and that we can continue to move forward.